I seen this on uh, I think on somebody had it linked on um Facebook, but I really found a account so I can go to it. But it says that women having a conversation of why men put them in the friend zone, which is I ain't never heard of that, but I don't know. I guess everywhere different. I'm gonna play this video real quick and tell me what you think. Let me know if you can hear it. Problem that I experience with a lot of men is that. I'm so cool and I'm so down to earth and I create this safe space for a lot of men to be transparent and to be vulnerable and to just be open and talk about any and everything to the point that they start to friend zone me. Oh, that's happened to me too. Yeah. And that becomes a problem for me because it's like, damn, if I do, damn, if I don't, you want a woman and you want a best friend. I'm here to show you that I can give you all of that. But then you friend zone me and you don't see me. And I'm over here like, hey, hello, I'm right here. I'm hearing you cry and I'm hearing you complain and I'm hearing you talk about how you want this type of woman or how I am. You know, you such a good woman. You so this and you deserve that. I'm right here. How am I being overlooked? But I think that when I create a space for a man to be that way, it automatically, automatically tends to friend zone me. Well, that's because men don't want to fuck up the qualities that they can't easily find again. Mm. So if you have something that I can't find in all these women, I might need to value that and keep this with me instead of just putting you in a position because I'm rotating through girlfriends. Mm. I'm rotating through Mm. girlfriends. These girlfriends are coming and going. But what we have here, I need to hang on to. And I've, I can yeah. I can relate to that as someone who has experienced that. I often say, the person who gets the most of your vulnerability often gets the least of your love. Yeah. The person that you're calling to cry with is not the person that you think of when you want to cuddle all the time. Yeah. So they don't want to ruin what they have with you mm-hmm. or me. So they keep you there and rotate everyone else. See, my. So what you think, man? You think that's? Uh, uh, I definitely you think. think uh, Cap, or you think? Well, I definitely think the um, the second girl uh, had a really good point. Uh, you know, you want if you get somebody in your life, you don't want to lose them. Right? The relationship or or a casual or sexual encounter or just a, a boyfriend girlfriend when you got a good friend in somebody, somebody who's understanding, somebody who listens to you, and things like that. Everybody not meant to be your girlfriend. And every not every woman is not meant for you to have sex with. You know what I mean? I have a I have a couple really really strong female friends, uh, friendships that's lasted uh, years. Um, of course, they're attractive, but they're you don't see them like that. You know what I mean? I have cousins that are attractive. But I don't sexually see them like that. And sometimes you see women as friends or even family after a certain amount of years, and you just don't see them like that. Uh, and that's like a point you always make. Uh, make your intentions clear from the get go. Uh, you know what I mean? If you come up like a friend and you uh, approach me like a friend, that's where I'm gonna treat you, and that's where that I'm gonna put you. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't like change on my like. Uh, you're a really good guy. Now I'm gonna change my mind when I've already designated you a friend or family, so I don't see you like that. Uh, you know, so what causes what causes a guy to put a girl in the friend zone? That's I never, I don't think I ever, I don't know if I ever did that or not. But what causes a girl? What what makes a dude say, you know what? I want to talk. I'm gonna put you in the friend zone. Like I'm gonna uh, rate you in the friend zone because it sounds like they want to be in a relationship, but the dude's like, nah, I'm good. Their approach put them there. Uh, I think mm, you know that's a good that's uh, a good one right there. Yeah, you know they they approach the situation like a friend. Uh, and it's a lot of things that go into a first two that comes to my mind, attractiveness. Uh, like, and like I say, if you are uh, undesirable, maybe uh, not that attractive. Attitude. Uh, you know what I mean? Attitude. If you got a good attitude, I don't want to, like, put you out because you, you're a really good person. Uh, the communication is good. The vibe is good. You don't want to get rid of them, but you definitely you don't want to date them. Uh, and... Good people are hard to come by, so you want to keep them close to you. You know, uh, I think uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, women they don't do uh, the common denominator. Like you are the common denominator. What is it about you that could make you undateable? Oh, uh, a man or woman, you, you can think about that. What makes you undateable? What makes a guy say, you know, you know what? I don't want to put you in a rotation. I don't want to date you. I just want to put you in a friend zone. Is it, yeah. 
you know what I'm saying, bad attitude or is it just you just rambling, you know, about nothing, no conversation. It's a reason why they just don't want to go there, probably ask the dude that ask the dude to put you in the friend zone, you know what I'm saying? But that's when you see that the you know, negative thing. It's gotta be for them to be your friend and you to keep constant conversation with somebody over a span of time, six months or years. Uh, it's got to be something good about them. So uh, maybe their conversation. No, but I'm good, saying but you really playing that assumption game. game. Yeah, you yeah. kind of naggy on this and that. Uh, yeah. You have you know bad qualities that don't make you a good friend and not a good girlfriend. Well, maybe he knows some stuff because y'all friends. He knows some stuff about you to be like, nah, you stay right there in the friend zone. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe he's uh, maybe. admitted some stuff that he's ashamed of to you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, it's like, I can't really, you know, got to be with you like that. Because I didn't yeah. see it too much myself. Boy. Uh, it's, it's a lot of things that go into that. Uh, yeah. A reason, let me see. Sometimes you could be crazy. You know the girl crazy. You're like, nah, she's too crazy for me to even take the risk on. Or, so I'm going to keep her as a friend. You know or what I'm saying? She, yeah, exactly. So she's too masculine. She's like, too I know you to bust dude windows out. I know you to slash some tires. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I'm going to keep uh, once that little crazy cap or once that little sexual Boy. cap uh, hit on yeah. you and you got to kind of go full force. Uh, you're too much like a guy. Like you're really fun, crazy. You can go out with me. Mike, we can go, you can go out with all the boys and hang out, really be part of the uh, the clique. So, I mean, I don't really see you kind of as a girl. Like, you get one, you know what I mean? Sometimes sometimes everybody makes mistakes and they slip, you know what I mean? Maybe they try one of their female friends and they have a bad experience and they don't want to ever try so, what, a friend again because of that experience. So, it's a lot of reasons. What percentage of guys do you think that even do this? Like put girls and friends on. Like if you could do a percentage that that we've been around, a percentage. Do you think uh what 70, 80 that probably won't do that? You know, some dudes yeah. will make you think you're the friend until you slip and then they're gonna they gonna go ahead and knock you down. Oh, yeah, you know I mean, saying? yeah, I, I, I've seen it all. Um, you know, I mean I've been, yeah. I've been, That's what I'm saying. It's a reason why he won't knock you down. Girl, it's a reason. I mean, girlfriends, <laughs> they got that little gay friend, uh, he's just my friend. Yeah. Soon as they got an opportunity, you know what I mean? Boy. Uh, Boy. Oh, yeah, man. He ain't nothing. Uh, I would treat you like a queen. So you get all those, you know, kind of fake friends guy. But I think uh, it's uh, higher than you would put it. I think it's about uh, 40% because we got a lot of friends that know a lot of girls that they ain't trying to get with, but they don't want you to get with it either. They be gatekeeping and pillow talking to some girl. Why, why are you talking to this girl so much? She know all your business. She know all our business because you're talking to her, yeah. but you're really yeah. not kicking it with her. You know what I mean? I can um, I can pick out maybe uh, in our associate friend group, you know what I mean, our, yeah. our bigger network. I can get named about four or five guys that do that. They got their little girlfriend. they always talking to, like, who you on the phone with her and blah, blah, blah. And they got that, but they're not messing with it. You know what I mean? And we know it's not missing. Yeah. yeah, some dudes got the killer instinct. They're not going. They just yeah. got you on. They got you on the bench till you ready to play. Then when they see you ready to play, let's go ahead and put you in the game for a couple yeah. minutes. Then sit you back down. And some dudes there, they put you in the friend zone. They, you know, they you know, be friends think to the end. Guy, it just ain't, it ain't a lot of dudes that do that. It ain't a, a lot. It's like yeah, like you said, about forty percent of dudes that would do that. But, like, but that other sixty hard. though, huh? Uh, you, Thirsty guys, like so, so many guys that's hungry for sex. All they think about, all they talk about, they they just want it, want it. They ain't got enough of it. But when you like, when a guy uh, gets girls, has sex on the regular, his friends are just his friends. Like I look for yeah. these type of women to have relations with and relationships yeah. with, and like you, my friend. I mean, I can get that other places. Uh, some of them want it. If it if it's breathing, I'm gonna hit it. So, uh, well, like and laughing really, I'm for that too as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for real. 